Dynamo Moscow hosts SKA St. Petersburg. This year's could have ended five days ago, but SKA won the last two games. Let's see if they can push it to Game 7. End of the first period, nothing nothing on the board and Fedor Fedorov takes down Sergei Soin. Now the replay clearly shows that Fedorov left his feet and elbowed Soin in the head. Fedorov wasn't happy with Soin and so was Evgeny Artukin who gave him a little push after he finally stood up. Alex Polikov, head of the KHL's refereeing department, already commented on this incident, saying Fedorov's elbow glided over Soin's helmet, so the ref made the right call not sending Fedorov to the box. Dynamo fans think obviously otherwise. Early in the second now, Marek Kvapil grabs the puck, turns on his jets, burns Georgi Berdukov, goes for a wraparound, scores! 1-0 Dynamo Moscow. Berdukov is a young defenseman that Yuka Yalin had to start playing as Yuri Alexander got an injury in the first. In his defense, Ilya Yezhov also overcommitted to the near side. A little later, Dynamo battles for the puck in SKA's end, they get it, Soin sets up Kvapil for a shot and he gets another one in his G column, 2-0 Dynamo. Typical Dynamo goal in the playoffs, they work hard and they don't waste good scoring chances. Late in the period, Fedorov breaks into the zone, his shot is stopped by Artukin slams it in using his big frame to get to the rebound first. It ain't over just yet for SKA. Artukin and Fedorov play on SKA's fourth line, but so far they have been the most visible out there for St. Petersburg. Shortly after, Viktor Tikhanov kills SKA's momentum going into the box for a deuce and Ilya Garokov makes him pay with this clapper, 3-1 Dynamo. That's his first of the playoffs and he celebrates it in Artyom Anisimov style. Nobody assaults him for that though. Midway through the third now, Petrozalek sends Klapil on a breakaway and it's beautifully executed, 4-1 Dynamo and it looks like that's it for SKA. Klapil scored just three goals prior to the series, he has now doubled his score in total. Petrozalek gets his third assist of the night. He has been downgraded to the fourth line on Dynamo for not showing enough willingness to battle according to their head coach Alex Narok. He is still very much skilled though. With just over 7 minutes to go in regulation, SKA pulled his off for an extra attack, but that only led to an empty netter by Sergei Kankov. That's his fourth of the playoffs and that ices it. Dynamo holds on to a very comfortable lead and for the second season in a row they made it to the Gagarin Cup final. Overall, coach Alex Narok has led his team to a final three times in the last four years. Very impressive. They will face the winner of Akbar's Tractor Series. 5-1 Dynamo Final.